Good morning! It feels good to be back. I'm back from Kalamazoo. I've still got some Kalamazoo videos to put up because in, in between Kalamazoo and now, I did headshots from the heart. So far we're sitting at almost $5,000 raised. We doubled our amount. We almost doubled our amount from last year. It is awesome. I actually have memories of what went on this time. It was so much fun. We, we had a great time. We raised a lot of money for children's hospitals. Yeah, but that is not what I sat down to talk with you about today, partly because I spent a lot of time pitching headshots already, and we have a whole year until the next one. If you want to help out with the next one, tweet me, and we'll figure something out. But no, today I want to talk about the things that you should have said, which is weird because I don't know you, but... No, everybody has those things that you wish you'd said. I mean, sometimes it's just that, you know, you're, you're not witty enough. You, someone delivers the perfect remark, and, you're, and three days later, I'm like, huh. Oh, I know the perfect thing to say to them, but I can't go back in time and change that, unfortunately. I'm working on that. I'm really not working on that. But those aren't the interesting times for me. When, when, when you think, I mean, because it's, it's a one-off thing. You think, oh, well, you know... I should have said, when, when, when I was told at a party, you, sir, are drunk, I should have said, but you, madam, are ugly. And in the morning, I, it's Winston Churchill quote. I mean, come on. But I didn't, because I'm not Winston Churchill. No, it's... The things that get me, the, th the, the ones that really stick with me are... Oh, maybe I should talk about the other category first, which are the ones, the things you should have said, but you weren't brave enough to say. I mean, the times when you should have intervened, and you just you just can't make yourself do it. And those can those can be really rough. I mean, those can those can kill you. But there's there's other ones in that too. I mean, and, and a lot of the time, those aren't your fault. I don't want to say always because I don't like using the word always. It it just there's the world is vast and diverse and strange and I can't imagine all the situations but a, a lot of the time I mean I mean so you're just you're not ready I mean it's not just about not being brave enough it's about it's about not being ready or but there's a third kind which are the kind when it's not that you don't know what to say it's you know it's when you know what to say you know the thing to do and you don't do it. Those are the kind that bug me. And those are the kind that you lay awake at night thinking about. You're thinking, I should have done that. I should have done X instead of Y. Instead of nothing. And sometimes you can go back on that and, and, and fix it. But most of the time, it was that moment when you were needed. And it wasn't that you couldn't think of the right thing. You just couldn't do it. And this is, this is pretty heavy. Um, but I don't think of it just in those, in those moments when it's, when it's really heavy. I mean, I, I think of it in terms of losing my nerve. Uh, I used to have really bad stage fright. Which is weird, considering this. And playing music for people and doing all kinds of other things but I used to I used to think oh well I'll just I'll just get up there and I'll 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 feel it and I'll feel it out and I would get so scared or people would look at me and be like Jim did you do the, the preparation you were supposed to do and I would think yes and I would say yes but I would be like no I was so nervous about this that I couldn't even prepare for it because the act of Preparing for it just made me so anxious. But, I mean, now I, I'm, I'm a lot better with it now. And it takes time and it takes practice and a lot of it is being confident enough to, to sort of feel it out. Um, here's an example. I speak at everybody's wedding. Uh, I think all of my friends except for one I have spoken at their weddings, and I never prepare anything. I just sort of go up and talk about whatever's on my mind, and people seem to really like that, so they keep 
asking me to do it. Um, not that they keep getting, mar getting married over and over again. Uh, happily, lots of my friends are in very healthy relationships. But I just sort of feel it out. And the very first time I did that, the very first time I had to speak in public about something, I totally choked. I just sat there and I went, oh, I don't know what to say and I haven't thought about it. It's very much like my first video. Go back and watch my first video and you'll understand what me totally choking looks like. God, I'm, st I'm still keeping that up. I, I, I think it's really important to have it. But yeah, that's me completely choking. But even then, sometimes I lose my nerve and I don't, I don't say the things that I should have said. I don't, I don't talk about people in the right way. I don't talk about the way I value them, the way I feel about them. I mean, maybe it's because I'm a manly man and I'm not supposed to talk about this. Of course I'm a manly man. I have a Hawaiian shirt. Every man who has a Hawaiian shirt and a guitar is a manly man. Pay no attention to the duckies. Pay no attention to the duckies. But I don't know, I don't know the reason for it. I just know that sometimes I don't have the nerve to say the thing that I know that I should have said or to do the thing that I know that I should have done. And I don't let that bother me as much as I used to because I found a way to deal with it. Which is that when I know, when I know for sure that that is the thing I should have done, I go to the people that, that I should have done it with or should have said it to and I say this is what I should have said. And I tell them. And sometimes that's really hard, but sometimes, I mean, in, in the long run, it gets easier. Because they need to know. They need to know what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, you know, that kind of thing. When it's important. I mean, not all the time. That would be weird. So what I'm saying is that if you feel those things, and I think you do, um, if you do, leave it, leave, leave something like that in the comments. I am going to to do something like that on Friday when I have my my next video where I will sing a song that I should have sung instead of what I actually did, and that to me is the the real challenges as a musician or as a performer is that they're just like get up and do something. You're creative, and I'm like, oh, there, here's this great idea I have, but I just I'm so nervous about whether whether I can pull it off or properly do it justice. And well, we'll, we'll see on Friday if I actually manage to do it justice. But either way, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it is going to have something to do with weddings. It's really exciting. Um, I should tell you guys what's going on. In about a month, I won't be here anymore. Not because I am gone or dead, but because I will be launching a new channel channel with my friend Kaylee to host a whole bunch of other video stuff that I've got going on. And that we have going on. It's going to be called Woot Suit Riot. It's going to be totally awesome. You can look for that on my blog later. I will, of course, link the relevant post once that stuff comes up. Uh, I am going to get back to trying to write a song a week. So send me your song ideas. I'm not promising that I'll use them. I'm going to try and do a crazy thing and come up with my own ideas. But occasionally I will need to suck upon your creativity and use that. So send me song ideas. Also... Send me songs that mean something to you and tell me why in just a short paragraph. Just name of a song, who it's by, and why it's important to you. I've got a thing that I want to do with them, and I think it'll be really interesting. I'm going to talk more about that next week because I'm already taking up way too much of your time. So I will see you on Friday with an awesome song for friends. All right. See ya.